separable prefix verbs, part three. So I have two different ones up here, einladen, to call, and einladen, to invite. They work the same way as the others. We will still conjugate them as we did in the last video. Conjugate this part, kick the, prefi uh, the separable prefix to the end. <clears throat> okay, so what happens though if you have a modal verb? So let's review modal verbs for a moment. So that's things like can, um, want to, should. Um, so we'll take can, for example, um, können. So if I want to combine this with one of those, um, maybe I want to ask if someone can call me. Um, first of all, I'll conjugate my modal, my modal verb like I normally would. Kannst du mich? Now we know with um, modal verbs that normally we conjugate the verb and the other one at the end is in the infinitive. In other words, it's not conjugated. That's still going to be true here. So if I wanted to say, can you call me? I would simply take the infinitive and just put it down here. I don't have to do a thing to it. Kannst du mich anrufen? Um, same thing will work with future tense. We had done werden for future tense. If I might say that I will invite a certain person, the same thing would be true. Ich werde sie, and then whatever goes down here would have to be in the infinitive. In other words, we don't do a thing to it. We just write it down as we would see it in the dictionary. Ich werde sie einladen. Now notice in a real sentence when I'm writing these things, I don't put the dot in between them. That's only for the dictionary, just so that you know it's a separable prefix verb. Okay, if you need any other videos, let me know, and I'll make them for you. Tschüss!